Hi, my name is Jos Oversie, trainer and consultant at Oveducon. And in this video, I want to tell you more about why is a pump foundation that important. With the following subjects, what is a pump foundation? Why is it that important? And some practical examples. What is a pump foundation? A pump foundation is a rigid base to put a dry installed pump on. I have a small dry installed pump in front of me and even a small pump like this needs a rigid base. I also have two examples I will show you in the picture. In this picture you see a green pump on a large rigid base made of concrete. In the other picture you see a mobile installation and also this pump is put on some kind of foundation. And a foundation can be constructed out of, for example, concrete, sometimes steel or epoxy. So there are different ways to make a foundation. Why it is important? The foundation of the centrifugal pump, the dry install pump, must be capable to absorb the torques and the vibrations made by the pump and transferred to the foundation. About foundations, there is not much data available, but I found this book for you. In this book, you can read a lot about pump foundations. And also one very special thing why pump foundations are that important. In this book, there's a special chapter about mean time between failure. There was a plant, they had 600 pumps and they were able to optimize the mean time between failure from 6 up to 30 months. So a lot of progress made only by making the right pump foundation. Let's talk about some good and some bad examples. In this picture you see three pumps. Every pump has its own foundation. And it looks like that the measurements of the foundations are correct. But to be sure, please read the manual. And if it's not in the manual, please read that book I just showed you. This next pump, this orange pump, has no separate foundation. And as you can see, this pump is fitted to the floor, the concrete floor. We don't know the thickness of that floor. So we also don't know if this floor is capable to absorb all the torques and the vibrations. So in this case, it's very important to check the vibration of this complete pump installation. This is, in my opinion, not correct. I also found this picture. This picture, just a small pump, and the foundation, I didn't mention it because normally a pump is not fitted on a piece of wood. But in this case, they did. And every time this pump will start and stop, the pump is able to shift. And with that, it's possible that the suction pipe will break. So this is a very bad actor. In this picture, you see a blue pump and the foundation is nothing less and nothing more than a stainless steel construction. A stainless steel construction and you can also see that there is a hole between the ground level and the top of this construction. And because of that hole, this construction will generate a lot of noise. And also you can see that the top of this construction is banded. And because it is banded, it will give tension on the suction and the discharge piping. So with that tension, it's possible that your suction piping or discharge piping will break. We have to avoid tension on the piping construction. So this is a bad example. In this last example, I thought I seen it all, but this one is a very bad example 
of a pump foundation. Maybe you saw it already, but I marked it even with an arrow. There is one support missing underneath this foundation. And because of that one support is missing, it will give a lot of vibration and torque and also tension to the suction line and discharge line. And you can have that the suction line and discharge line can break. So a very bad example. So now you know that pump foundations are very important for the meantime between failure for your pump. I told you about what is a pump foundation, why it is important, and I gave you some bad and some good examples. I hope you learned something and maybe you have a question or you have a comment. You can also always drop it below and it's also not forbidden to subscribe. If you want to learn more, please visit our website and I hope to see you again on the next video, but maybe on an e-learning course or on a consultancy job. I hope to see you. Bye.